In this video, I will explain about the open circuit and short circuit test of synchronous machine. So this is just a analysis video and the aim is to show how to find the synchronous reactance XS. Uh, this is more of analysis and discussion on the topic. So, uh, it's very easy to see that a synchronous machine can be given by the equivalent circuit of having a field which is variable the field current is IF and this field is usually bound on the rotor and this rotor is mainly two types as we have seen it can be salient pole or it can be round rotor and the EMF generated if it is shown by EG then this EMF will have some kind of losses happening due to the resistance RA which is for the if I am considering for the A phase and XAR which is armature reactance loss and XA which is a reactance loss and VT will be whatever or VA will be the terminal voltage which is available to me and IA is the current flowing. Now if I am open circuiting this then my VA is equal to VOC and during open circuit IA will be equal to 0 and when I am short circuiting one thing which I can observe is that my IA will be equal to I short circuit and this I short circuit could be equal to IA rated or it's usually greater than IA rated and during short circuit my VA will be equal to 0 so these are the two conditions if I am shorting this or I am opening this terminal here so this is how you can calculate the parameters based on this a simple equation could be to say that my EG is equal to VA plus JIA excess this is a case where my RA is very less than excess and I'm ignoring it so my EG is equal to ISC into XSC during the case when I am having a short circuit so in that case my excess is given as EG divided by ISC but at the same time when you can see that when I am having an open circuit voltage when the current is equal to 0 this part will be equal to 0 so my VOC will be equal to EG in that case so my excess can be given as VOC divided by ISC and this is for a field current which is equal to constant or a specific field current so this is how you can find your synchronous reactance based on the open circuit or the short circuit test and it is seen that during the open circuit since IA is equal to 0 the losses happening are mainly core loss and friction and windage loss only so while you are doing a short circuit 
so VOC will be equal to 0 and in this case or VA will be equal to 0 and in this case the IA if you are flowing it is equal to the rated current IA equal to ISC then you can calculate the losses which will be happening will be equal to the copper losses core loss due to the leakage reactants and windage and friction losses so all these losses will happen and it is also possible to compute for the losses so suppose at the time of open circuit the field if it is a field current is IF required to for making the voltage VOC is equal to VA rated and when you are having a short circuit if the field current IF for making IA rated flow is equal to IOC then and the field current is IF dash so the ratio of IF and IF dash is what is known as my synchronous reactance so or short circuit ratio is just given by SCR so this is IF rated for the field current for rated open circuit voltage which is this divided by IF dash which is this for making the rated ISC equal to IA flow so this is known as a short circuit ratio so again based on based on the parameters which you have found in the open circuit test and short circuit test is possible to have graphs between VOC to IF and these are known as open circuit curves and again it's possible to have a graph of IOC or ISC to IF field current these are known as the short circuit curves so that's all